Hello everyone. Today we will discuss types of host. Previous class we will discuss types of parasites. Today we will discuss types of host. So the hosts are the three types. Hosts are the three types. Hosts are the three types. Primary host number one. Primary host. Second one, secondary host. Secondary host. Third one, a reservoir host. Reserve host. So the primary host, secondary host, and the reservoir host. Reserve host. So the first one, primary host. First adding primary host. First one, primary host. So primary host. Primary host means so the parasites developing a sexual reproduction occurring in the host. For example, single one parasite they contain two host. One parasite contain two host. So the parasites they occur in the sexual reproduction occurring in the host. That host is called as primary host. Just example diagram. So these are the one host. So these are the another host. They are the host. So these are also host. These are the parasite. So they are the parasite. So these parasite they contain two hosts. They contain two host. So these parasite. Maturing and the developing other stage occurring from the which host they are developing the sexual reproduction occurring the host that host is called as primary host. For example, these parasites sexual reproduction occurring in the these host. So these are called as primary host. They are called as primary primary host. Understand? So the parasite. The parasite occurring the sexual reproduction in host. That host is called as primary host. That host is called as primary host. So the parasite they contain a two host. One is the primary host, another one is the secondary host. They contain two host. These parasite sexual reproduction occurring the host. That host is called as primary host. In the host. Host, the parasite, parasite occurring sexual sexual reproduction in the host. That host is called as primary host. That host is called as primary host. Primary. Host. The host is called as primary host. Example: Plasmodium vivax in female Anopheles mosquito. Example: Plasmodium vivax. Plasmodium vivax. The female Anopheles mosquito. Female Anopheles mosquito is the primary host. Female Anopheles mosquito is the primary host of the Plasmodium vivax. Plasmodium vivax is the so they are the female Anopheles mosquito is the host. So they are the primary host of the Plasmodium vivax, a parasite. So they are the primary host. Next one, second one, secondary host. Second one, secondary host. Secondary host. Secondary host means so. In the parasite occurring asexual reproduction occurring the host, the parasite, the parasite, the parasite, asexual, asexual or reproduction.
asex for reproduction occurring in the host is called secondary host is called secondary host is called as secondary host secondary host means so this um, parasite these parasites so in this two host so this host is the sexual reproduction so in this host is the sexual reproduction so they are called as primary host so in this host they are occurring the asexual reproduction asexual reproduction so these are called as secondary secondary host is called as secondary host simple so the parasite they contain two host the parasite contain two host these parasites asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction sexual reproduction occurring the host that host is called as primary host asexual reproduction in the host that host is called as asexual reproduction example example plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax in man plasmodium vivax in man so the plasmodium vivax they contain a two host one host female anapheles mosquito another one man so the female anapheles mosquito they are the asexual reproduction so they are called as primary host in man so they are the asexual reproduction so they are called as secondary host they are called as secondary host so the primary host and secondary host primary host means sexual reproduction occurring the host they are called as primary host asexual reproduction occurring the host the parasite sexual reproduction occurring the host is called as primary host the parasite asexual reproduction occurring the host so they are called as secondary host next one reservoir host next one reservoir host next one a reservoir host reservoir host reservoir host so they are the reservoir host reservoir host means a reserve host means so the parasite so they are the uh, transfer from the one host to another host one host to another host so the host is not available host is not available so they are moving the monkeys example a uh, plasmodium vivax uh, the plasmodium vivax so the primary host mosquito secondary host man so the man is not available man not available so these uh, plasmodium vivax they entering into the monkeys the plasmodium vivax entering the monkey so the plasmodium vivax monkey is the reservoir host reservoir host means so they are the the host is not available host is not available plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax man host is not available not available this entering this entering monkey these entering monkeys so the monkey is called as reservoir host monkey is called monkey is called a reserve host reserve host monkey is called as reserve host monkey is called as reserve host so the these uh, parasites so the monkey there is no effect there is no there is no causing the disease there is no causing no causing disease no causing the disease in the monkeys example plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax monkey so they are the reserve host they are the reserve host so they are the types of the host the types of the host three types of the host primary host secondary host and a reserve host 
for primary host means the parasite occurring the sexual reproduction in the host so they are called as primary host example a female anaplas mosquito plasmodium vivax the female anaplas mosquito next one secondary host the parasite occurring the sexual reproduction occurring the host so they are called as secondary host next one reservoir host so the main host is not available they entering into the monkeys so they are the reserve host next one types of vectors next one types of vectors types of vectors types of vectors vectors means so these are the transfer the these vectors the organisms the insects example maximum insects are the vectors so the organisms transfer the infective stages from the one host to another host is called as vectors organisms organisms transfer transfer infective stages infective stages one host to one host to another another host so the organisms like insects cockroaches house flies so they are a uh, transfer the infective stages from the one host to another host transfer the infective stages from the one host to another host so they are called as vectors is called vectors these are called these are called vectors these are called as vectors vectors means so these organisms maximum insects are the vectors so these are transfer the infective stages transfer the infective stages from the one host to another host so these are called as vectors they are called as vectors so the vectors are the two types 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 one is a mechanical vector mechanical vectors second one biological vectors biological vectors mechanical vectors and biological vectors vectors are the two types mechanical vectors and biological vectors first one mechanical vectors first one mechanical vectors so the mechanical vectors means so these are transfer the infective stages from the one host to another host so the infective stages are the do not developing do not change in the structure so mechanical vector means this transfer infective stages infective stages of parasites they are transfer the infective stages of parasites so these infective stages do not change in the structures infective stages yes do not developing do not developing the transfer period do not developing the transfer period so they are called as mechanical vectors mechanical vectors just example so these are the one host sorry so they are the one infective stage so these infective stage they transfer from the one host to another host so these are the same structure so there is no changes there is no growing so there is no growing there is no change in the structure so they are called as mechanical vectors mechanical vectors means they are same structure so they in this the one parasite who are infective stages so they are transferred from the one host to another host so this structure this infective stage structure there is no change the 
starting host like same structure they ending the another host structure so they are the there is no change in the infective stages there is no developing of the infective stages so they are called as mechanical vectors these are called as mechanical vectors example example entamoeba astrolytica house flies house flies and cockroach house flies and cockroaches etc they transfer the infective stages of entamoeba astrolytica infective stages of entamoeba astrolytica Entamoeba histolytica. So they are the these entamoeba histolytica infective stages. They are transferred from the one host to another host. So but there is no change. There is no developing the infective stages. So they are called as mechanical vectors. Next second one biological vectors. So, second one biological vectors. Next one biological vectors. biological vectors biological vectors means so these vectors transfer from the infective stages of the parasites transfer from the one host to another host so they are the developing so they are the developing the structures change in the body forms they are the growing the infective stages structures so they are called as mechanical vectors they are transfer the infective stages of the parasites from the one host to another host in this period so they are the developing the infective stage structures growing of the infective stages so they are called as mechanical vectors just see the diagram the example diagram for example so they are the infective stage from the one host so they are transferred to the another host so they are the growing or developing they are changing the structure so they are called as mechanical vectors it is called as mechanical vectors so biological vectors and mechanical vectors simple so mechanical vector means the infective stages the structure and development there is no change they are starting host the same structure from the another host there is no change they are transferred from the one place to another place one host to another host so mechanical biological vectors means so this uh, transfer period time the infective stages are the developing or infective stages are the growing one stage to another stage so they are called as biological vectors example plasmodium vivax in female anopheles mosquito so the mosquito is the insect so they are transfer from the uh, infective stages from the man host to another host so they are the change in the structures so they are called as mechanical vectors and biological vectors so they are the types of host and types of vectors next one the parasitic adaptations next one parasitic adaptations next one parasitic adaptations so the parasites living in host body so the parasites living in host body so there are the few changes few adaptations so they are surviving the host body first one the parasites parasites contain hooks suckers and rostrum rostellum so these are helps from the anchoring these are structures sir so help from anchoring anchoring of host body host body so they are the one adaptation so first adaptations so the parasites they contain a hooks suckers and rostellum hooks suckers and rostellum so these are helps from the attachment of the the attachment of the host body so they are helps from the attachment of the host body so they are anchoring anchoring means attachment of the host body so they are the one adaptations next one so the parasites they releasing to the parasites they covering the protective cuticle layer 
parasites body covering covering protective protective layer protective layer the parasites they covering the protective layer so they are escaping from the action of the enzymes actions of the enzymes so the example ascaris lumbricoides ascaris lumbricoides living in our intestine living in our intestine so the, our intestine contain a digestive enzymes so these digestive enzymes action of the ascaris lumbricoides but so these ascaris lumbricoides the body is covering by the protecting membrane so these protecting membrane so they are the prevention of the action of digestive enzymes prevention of action of the digestive enzymes next one some parasites some parasites release release anti enzymes some parasites releasing anti enzymes so they are the neutralize the host enzymes so these helps from the neutralize neutralize the host enzymes neutralize the host enzymes so the host body they contain enzymes so these enzymes are the action of the parasites so these some parasites releasing anti enzymes so producing the anti enzymes so these anti enzymes neutralize the host enzymes so they are the one adaptation so the surviving the host body surviving the host body next one some of the parasites so they are the obligatory anaerobes some parasites obligatory obligatory anaerobes some parasites are the obligatory anaerobes so the obligatory anaerobes means so the some parasites living in the host body so parasites living in the host body so they are not available of oxygen not available oxygen so they are the surviving so this type of the uh, parasites is called as obligatory anaerobes parasites is called as obligatory anaerobes means the oxygen is not available oxygen is not available so these are parasites is called as obligatory anaerobes next one some parasites are the facultative anaerobes some parasites are the facultative facultative anaerobes some parasites are the facultative anaerobes so facultative anaerobes means so they are the oxygen is available O2 is available O2 is available so they are the respiration is the aerobic respiration aerobic respiration so O2 is not available O2 is not available so they are the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration so they are the one adaptation so the parasites so they are the some of the parasites so the oxygen is available so they are the aerobic respiration aerobic respiration means presence of oxygen so the oxygen is not available so the parasites uh, anaerobic respiration so these are called as a facultative respiration facultative anaerobes facultative anaerobes next one this uh, parasites the body uh, reproductive system is well developed reproductive system is well developed means example the ascaris lumbricoides example ascaris lumbricoides so per day releasing 2 lakhs eggs ascaris lumbricoides per day releasing 2 lakhs eggs so they are the more population so they are increasing the population so they are the one adaptations next one some of the parasites they are the change in the body structures from the vaccines escaping from the vaccines so they are the change in the body structures like hiv virus so the hiv virus so they are the change in the body structures so they are the the action of uh, vaccines are the not working because of so they are the changing the body structures so they are the adaptations of the parasites parasitic adaptations